Anyone who's been in a relationship longer than a month knows it doesn't take long to find something to fight about. <laughs> one of our biggest fights? Did one of us cheat on the other? No. Did one of us forget our anniversary? Nope. Did one of us drink a little too much and then order everything on Amazon? Yes, <laughs> but no. <laughs> the big fight? Him eating the last chocolate chip cookie. Yep. Yeah, I wish I were kidding. We're, we're having this romantic picnic. We're uh, on the water underneath this shade tree. We've got all the best snacks lined up. And we're being that annoyingly cute couple that can't stop like kissing and giggling. And if you walk by us, you'd be like, ew. I hope fire ants are biting them. <laughs> that, that couple. Oh. As the afternoon lazily drifts by, I notice there's one delicious melt in your mouth cookie left. I notice it too. So I say, hey babe, can I have that? Oh, yeah, okay, I say in my nice newlywed voice. To my horror, he actually eats the cookie. <laughs> of course I eat the cookie. She tells me that I can eat the cookie. <laughs> I play it cool at first, but in my mind I'm like, shouldn't he know I really wanted that cookie? A few weeks later, Chelsea and I both want toast for breakfast, but there is one slice left. I say to him, half joking, but 100% serious, <laughs> you should give me that slice of bread since you ate the last cookie. And I'm like, what cookie? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you know what cookie, you should have known I wanted that cookie, and cue the early morning argument. Who would have thought a cookie could have started such a fight? Has this ever happened in your relationship? Or maybe even a friendship or a business partnership where they say one thing but really mean something else? Like, we should have known what they wanted, even though they told us something completely different. What Ryan and I have found through all of our research, interviews, and 11 years of being together, the success in any relationship is not dependent upon how long you've been together, it's how well you communicate together. Today, Chelsea and I would like to share with you three words that we have that avoid, that help us avoid that cookie fight altogether. It's three simple words that have led to less fights and more sexy nights. <laughs> <laughs> the three simple words, yes means yes. Yes means yes. Many of us have heard the saying, say what you mean and mean what you say. But very few of us truly do this, especially in our relationships. Yes means yes is our agreement that stops the stressing, the guessing, those little fights. It's all about having our yeses actually mean yes. <laughs> our company surveyed over 1,200 married people and found that seven out of 10 people are saying one thing but mean another when talking to their significant other. 70% of us. 70% of us are saying one thing other than how we really feel. Why? Why are we even doing this? Think about it. It started with our ancestors. We had to get along in order to survive. When we agreed with a group, we had food, family, protection, stability. And when we didn't agree with a group... And, and that need to fit in, it's still within us. We will say yes to things even when we don't have the time. We are people pleasers and confrontation avoiders by nature. I do not like conflict. You do not. <laughs> I said Ryan could have that cookie because I was hoping to avoid a, a potential conflict. I thought it'd be better for our relationship. But the argument eventually happened anyways. And I was guilty of this too. I'm a people pleaser, so I thought it was my job to make her happy, even if it meant I didn't like it. But what we now know in our relationship, you being secretly unhappy will never make the two of you actually happy. Fights, arguments, a lot of these whew, used to be a consistent part of our relationship. After a pretty long business trip away, I walk through the front door. I'm excited to see Chelsea. And, uh, and instead of her greeting me, she's on the couch texting. And before we hug and kiss, I'm like, hey, babe, can I finish this text? And in my mind, I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? I haven't seen you in two weeks, and you want to choose a friend and a phone over your husband, over me? 
And in my mind, I'm like, my friend really needs me right this second. But of course, we cannot hear each other's inner dialogue. So instead, I smile and I go, yeah, OK. And she goes back to texting, because I tell her, OK. And I go back to unpack my suitcase, all while I am fuming inside. This buildup is happening in my head. I am going over all of the negative, frustrating, irritating things Chelsea does. So when she comes back into the back room, I can tell her all the things that frustrate me about her. So I come in that room. <laughs> and I start to say sorry and cue the nighttime blow up. And I say some pretty intense things, I'm not going to lie. I even say like immature, embarrassing things like, if you love your phone so much, why don't you marry it? Like, blah, like gross Real mature. Things. Real mature, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I say everything I want and uh, calm down. And after I calm down, you tell me that your friend that you're texting had a miscarriage that day and really needed you. Needed you way more than I needed you in that moment. And the, it was unfortunate of uh, the timing of when I walked through the front door. Yeah, but and you felt like a real D-bag after you found <laughs> out why I had to keep texting. I did feel like a D-bag, but I shouldn't have said yes to you finishing that text. I should have said, hey, babe, I really have missed you. Can that text wait? That would have allowed space for you to be able to tell me what was going on. And if we would have had the yes means yes agreement back then, it would have avoided that whole situation altogether. How we respond in these moments and these situations can often lead to what we call the build-up blow-up. It's what it sounds like. It's where you bring things up that have built up over time until you blow up at each other. And build-ups that lead to blow-ups can be avoided simply by saying what you actually mean. Don't let something like miscommunication ruin what the two of you have created together. Ask yourself this, how many things do you have built up that you are waiting to use as ammo during your next blow up? Chelsea and I didn't get married to spend time at war with each other. We got married because we're happier together, because we have fun doing anything, because we get to make babies together. <laughs> <laughs> so how did we first come up with this agreement of yes means yes? Well, our, our relationship gets to a really low, hard spot, and the passive aggressiveness is overshadowing our happiness. I'm finding myself sighing and eye-rolling more than I'm kissing and smiling at him. And money is pretty tight for us at that time, and so Chelsea and I decided to take any extra money that we have, and we're going to set it aside for a trip. So instead of buying things like on Valentine's or birthdays or Christmas, uh, we'll, we'll take a trip together. So we agree. No gifts? No gifts. Well, Chelsea's birthday rolls around first, and I don't get her anything. And you would have thought I was Voldemort. <laughs> <laughs> she was so mad. You were so mad at me. I wasn't so much mad. I was disappointed. Fair. I was disappointed that you didn't know I still wanted a card on my birthday. In my mind, a card is not a gift, but in his mind, they went hand in hand. What I now know, in any relationship, we cannot be disappointed in the other person when we ourselves are not communicating what we want, what we need, what we desire. That's like going out to eat, ordering the salmon, and then getting mad at the waiter for not bringing you a burger. Because <laughs> the burger's what you really wanted, and somehow the waiter should have known that. The birthday fiasco is the fight that starts yes means yes. I remember after you got mad, disappointed, I, I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, we need to verbally tell each other what we mean. We need to say no when we mean no, yes when we mean yes. It's destroying our relationship. It is driving me insane. Einstein's definition of insanity is doing the same thing and expecting different results. In our relationship, insanity looked like saying one thing and meaning another. It was nuts. If your relationship sounds anything like ours, or if you're tired of fighting with a friend or a loved one on a regular basis, agree to and implement yes means yes. Have a stronger, have a happier, have a more passionate relationship starting now. The first thing you both have to agree to is to stop saying one <laughs> thing and meaning another. Yeah. Start there. 
agree to that. In the beginning, Chelsea and I, we had to constantly remind each other of our yes means yes agreement. Even today, if we're unsure of each other's answers, our, conversa our conversations will sound something like this. Uh, hey babe, do you need help with those dishes? No, I got it, you can watch TV. Mm, yes means yes. Okay, yeah, actually, I could use some help with these 20 dishes. You got it. Thank you. <laughs> what Ryan did there, two important things. First, he reminded me of our agreement by saying out loud, yes means yes. And second, he was patient, which allowed me the opportunity to pause, think about my answer, and then change it if necessary. Another example, do you need help with that diaper? No, I got it. Yes means yes. Okay, actually, I could really use your help on this specific <laughs> diaper. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, one that recently happened is, hey babe, can my parents come over for dinner tonight? Yeah. Mm, yes means yes. Yes, they can, but could they maybe leave by like 9 o'clock this time? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> we have found that most couples, or really anyone in any relationship, are unhappy because we are not communicating what we really want, or what we really need, or what we really feel. Yes means yes takes effort. And for Chelsea and I, it's worth that effort. We don't want to spend our time fighting. We want to spend our time having fun. <laughs> we don't simply want to be together. We want to be happy together. We know other couples want this too. Our company, our marriage, our life would not be what it is today if we had to constantly remind each other and figure out what the other person really meant after they said it. So when I want that last cookie, <laughs> I say it verbally. We are not mind readers. And I always get Chelsea a birthday card on her birthday. <laughs> he does, he does. As we've been hearing today, we all have a very limited amount of days on this planet. Remember, you being secretly unhappy will never make the two of you actually happy. So let's take our remaining days that we have with our loved ones, and instead of the useless fights or the unnecessary stress, let's start being happier in our relationship. Let's all start with using the agreement, yes, yes means yes. yes.